Hey and welcome. In this video, I'm reviewing Monica. Monica is one of the oldest, and I actually think it's the one, it's the oldest uh, personal CRM out there. It's been here for years. They have 40,000 uh, users who signed up. Doesn't mean they're all active, um, but that's a lot compared to um, any other CRM out there. Um, so in this video, we're going to review um, how it works um, and I will share my personal um, feedback as a um, fan of personal CRMs and a personal CRM developer myself. So let's get started. First, I'm going to sign up, test up, and I'm going to use this password and I'm going to sign up. Okay. So then I'm going to have to open my email. Monica is also um, the only open source personal CRM. What this means is that all their code, um, the whole app is basically available for free. Um, so people who want to um, run their own instance of the app and who don't want to rely on Monica's servers can do it, um, which is a big plus, but it also means um, like normal people who don't know how to develop can't do this. Um, so I think we're in. The first thing to know about Monica is that they have a, a free plan and a premium plan. Um, and there are massive differences between the two, especially on the free plan, you can only have 10 contacts, which is very limited. Um, so let's go with the onboarding and add a first contact. As you can see, everything is manual. Um, so I will add myself, Nathan Ganser, and I'm a man. So. So now we have the, the view for contacts. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. I can add a note, for example, um, great guy building a personal CRM. Um, okay, we can log stuff, for example, let, let, let's try all of them just so to get a sense of it. We can log a conversation. How do you communicate for Facebook? What, who said this message? You said, uh, good to see you. So personally already here, I think it, there is just too much going on, um, too many options. So we can, you know, record conversations. I can log a phone call, Nathan called, this made me feel Adoration. <laughs> we can log activities. Uh, something. Badminton. And we can add reminders, which uh, it is a feature that you find in most personal CRMs. Um, um, to check in every week. Um, as I said already in the previous video, um, I think reminders are the wrong way to go because they're so random. Um, for example, here on the th th 13th um, of September uh, at 9 a.m., I will receive a reminder to check in. And I'm like, this is just like so random. It's why not tomorrow? Why not yesterday? Um, what if I just talk to this person? Um, and especially imagine uh, most of us have 200, 300 contacts. So this is just so much data. Uh, and if you get an email for every reminder, it, it just kills you. Then you can add tasks, gifts, ideas, that. Oh, wow. Okay. Then you can add the relationship. And here you see how crazy it gets. Um, this person is, do you see just all the options? Um, and if you think that you have to do this for every one of your contacts, it's going to take you uh, weeks, uh, John. So for me, that's already a, a, a big no-go. Um, I, I, I do deeply care about maintaining and building my network, 
um, but I'm not ready to spend uh, a day a week just to do this. Um, especially since the value I'm getting out of it is not that high. To be honest, most of the data here um, could be gathered from different sources, uh, whether it's a phone call, uh, whether it's emails, um, and all the data um, about the person, I can find it on LinkedIn. Um, so it does feel like a lot of manual work um, for really nothing. Um, but okay, let's have a look at what's live events. Okay, so I can log in live events. Again, it's it's nice, but it's just so much to do um, that I'm not sure I, I want to, to do actually. Um, okay, let's keep visiting. Then we have a dashboard with all the reminders. So here we would have 300 reminders. Uh, product updates, that's cool. What's the journal? Okay, so they are also going more into a, um, a daily um, like notebook thing where you can say how was your day, um, recorded a video. Um, and then if we have a look at the settings, personalization. Okay, yeah. And then here we see import data and I was so excited. I was like, okay, actually, I mean, if I can import all my, all my data and I don't have to do it manually, that's awesome. Um, but actually it turns out um, you can only import the contacts, um, but no interaction data, um, which is a lot of what you want. Um, so that's again, somehow disappointing um, to me at least. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Then we have the subscription. Uh, with an annual plan at $90 and $9 a month if we want to pay monthly. Um, and on the free plan, you can only manage 10 contacts. So yeah, um, I, I haven't met many people who are using uh, Monica on a daily basis um, or, or even kind of actively. Um, yet Monica is definitely one of the um, most popular um, personal CRMs. Um, if you Google uh, personal CRM, they come up on the first or second uh, page. Um, so they've done a really good job at branding themselves. And I think it's also because they're just the oldest uh, here. Uh, yet I wouldn't be able to use it personally. Um, what I'm missing is um, more integrations, um, some more automation and just less stuff. Um, it does seem to me like Monica is for people who really like to write everything down, be super price, precise, and make sure to know that Johnny is my daughter's godson, you know, uh, godfather, um, which uh, I, I, I would not care about. I believe that that's the kind of things I would remember anyway. So I'm not, I don't need to, to write it down, um, but some people might. Um, so yeah, that's the re review for Monica. Um, would love to have your feedback. If you see this video and you're actually an active Monica user, please tell us what you love, um, what you dislike, and if you agree or disagree with me uh, on, on which points. It would be super interesting. Uh, on this, I wish you a great day, and I'm looking forward to see you in another video. Bye.